We are Carl and Caddy. Together, we are Nowhere Bound Touring. We've been adventuring for over two years now around Australia in our truck and our caravan. Sharing our full-time life on the road, we take you to some interesting and unique locations along with sharing tips and tricks of how to make caravan life that little bit easier. So if you're not already, make sure you hit subscribe. rubbing on at that one. Okay, that's about the smallest we can fit through. <laughs> because, ooh. <laughs> See what's happening on that side. Yep. Maybe after this. Oh, that's a nasty one. I'm hoping the other way's bigger. Because <laughs> that's getting skinnier. <laughs> We are on the Nine Mile Beach and we're just going to check out the beach campsites. They're only accessible by four wheel drive and we're currently at Motella. So we're gonna go in and have a look, see what it's like. Oh, is that it? <laughs> no, there's more. Danger, dingoes.
sort of the vote, okay? And of course... There's toilet paper. Toilet paper. Because people can't dig a hole. Maybe the thing is dig it up, I doubt it. Oh, that's the camp, people. <laughs> Couple of little spots. I think from memory that this looked like it was one of the best ones, I think, maybe. As in for camping with grass and so on. So okay. we'll have to see. Oh, it looks pretty with all those trees. I think maybe we should have gone the other way around. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't think we're going. Oh, I don't think we'll come back up through there, can I? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? That's a beautiful green. <laughs> Solar panel cable. We made it. <laughs> Let's go there for a bit. Just some extra. <laughs> <It's>. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Oh, it is. Lovely. And we like it because, oh, oh someone let their fire burn off, didn't they? Sure did. Oh, that's the end. Smoking prohibited. How are they going to stop people? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Well, that is a lovely spot just there, isn't it? Look out over the water. What's that down there? There's fences. Yeah. Oh, wasn't watching what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make that turn. <laughs> Next beach camp, Tajarina. Someone's pulled out a pole, left their underwear there. <laughs> like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Now, let's see if this track happens to be a little bit wider. Hopefully. <laughs> Definitely softer. If it stays this wide, it'll be good. Fingers crossed. At least this track's way less scratchy. Yes. <laughs> Any more we really have to get the chainsaw out. <laughs> and you're not allowed. Not allowed to do that. No. 
What chainsaw? We don't have a chainsaw. Oh, yeah, what chainsaw? What am I talking about? <laughs> G'day everyone, you know the saying, where there's smoke there's fire. Well we've got the smoke and our fire is happening. It is a little bit slow but we had rain last night so the wood's a bit wet. We'll get there in the end. But the reason we've got a fire is because we're having a camp up and cook up for dinner. We're having a roast lamb. I have been using the hillbilly spun steel camp oven now for a few years and I quite like it. It's different to cast iron and you do need to cook it a little bit differently, but I like it. I'll show you about it and I'll show you our dinner as well. And of course, where there's smoke, Caddy's done the washing. <laughs> where there's smoke, there's always washing. <laughs> Veggies. These are on what they call the veggie ring. So that's different to an old standard cast iron camp oven because the veggies are separated from the meat and that, which I like because you can theoretically get nice and crunchy veggies, which is quite hard normally with a camp oven because they're always soft and, and sitting in the liquid, even though they might be a little bit brown on top. Today, I'm gonna to use a trivet. I don't normally do it this way, but I am today because I'm going to put, I think a fair bit of heat on the bottom of it as well as on the top and the roast is not very thick something else that i'm doing that's a little bit different is i'm using it in a foil container i normally just cook it straight in the camp oven makes cleaning up a little bit easier makes temperature control a little bit easier too because it's not touching the outside metal as such so it doesn't burn quite as quick if you're a little bit erratic with your temperature control and so you still got a a little bit more chance of not burning it this yeah. way and for anyone who's considering the fact that that's going to make rubbish, we do wash them out. Yeah, that is the bad thing about it. They do wear out and we'll see today, but they also normally leak, believe it or not. Somehow they get a little hole in them somewhere and then your juice leaks out and then you can't quite collect all your juice and make your gravies as such. So hopefully that won't happen today. But anyway, so roast in. I'm going to put this all on at once. Um, maybe I won't. I'm going to brown the meat first. We're just going like that. That. That's what the, okay. This is what the hillbilly camp oven comes in. It's got its own canvas case. The main reason that I purchased this away from the cast one is because we used to travel with a big heavy cast one and also a big heavy cast fry pan, which I loved. But this is a lot lighter. We also use this inside all the time. So we can use it on the gas stove, which you can with the other one, but this is just a lot easier because it's not so heavy. So that's the main reason why I went to it and because of the veggie ring. Hillbilly also have a lot of good accessories that hammer in on the side of your fires on a, on a pole with barbecue plates and so on that you can cook over open fires, which I like. So one day I might look into that a little bit more because I have used them before and I do like it. But anyway, this is what we got now. Let's get on with it. Mm. 
So I've just set the camp oven on the side. I'm going to be very careful because that can easily overheat there and it will burn on the sides and bottom. And a few coals on the top just to brown the meat off to start with. And we'll go from there. So this has been on for 10 minutes. I've already turned it once. I'm going to have a little look. Yeah, so it's a little bit hot on the... Um, on the fire side, like I said, but that's okay. We'll just be very careful with that. And since we've got the foil in there, it'll help a bit as well. And then I will put it down on the ground after a little while. A few coals underneath, not too many. Coals on the top, and we'll be cooking it off the fire just down the side. I only just put it up there to uh, give it a bit of a kickstart and get it going. If you haven't noticed, I have got a brand new set of welding gloves. We always use them to, you know, deal with the fire, camp oven and so on, they're great. But uh, we had to get rid of the old set for two reasons. Uh, they had holes in a few fingers and I kept burning myself. The main reason is Catherine used them to remove the prickly pears off the prickly pear tree a week or two ago and it had all the prickly pear spikes actually went through the welding gloves and they were like sharp bits of fiberglass so every time you put your fingers in you got prickled by the prickly pear prickles so we thought it's about time to get a new set i'll just blame catherine for that it's all catherine's fault Oopsie. <laughs> actually actually i said to uh use the, the gloves didn't i i was gonna use Tongs. Yeah, like last so, time, previous time you I used tongs. Previously used two pairs of tongs to pull them off, but Carl knew better. Yeah, okay. We take that back. From now on, just use tongs to get prickly pears, <laughs> not welding gloves. I'll show you the end result. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the food? Show us the food. I'll show you the end result. We want the food. Yeah. Okay. I've just shoveled a few coals out of the fire. Just a few for the bottom. And I will just move the camp oven over there so it doesn't get too hot, hey? So it is getting a bit too hot. There we go. Lids all on. What I'd like to do is just get a little bit brown on the top for the meat. Then I'll put the veggies in there. And... It's all coming along. Oh, it's just starting to go brown. That's okay. We will put the veggies on. Slip our veggie ring. Just like that. With a few more hot coals. A little bit difficult with this metal fireplace. To get your coals. You have to wreck the whole fire. We'll just have a little look. It's coming. Can have some more coals on it. It's raining. <laughs> Water cool camp oven. Gotta love it. I'll put a bit of heat on at the end. Ooh. Looks good. Do you want to have a look? Please. Yeah. Oh, the meat looks a little bit brown. A little bit brown. Probably don't need it though. Oh, yum. It's a little bit overcooked. Oh my gosh. Soft. Some of the 
some of that bit. That'll do. One tidy. Sweet potato. Carrot. Onion. Oh, we've got to get the beans out. Of there. Get them. Yummy. Look at that. <laughs> Potatoes are almost brown enough. They could have been a tiny bit browner. Yum. Thanks, boss. Bon appetit. I'm happy. By the fire. I'm happy. <laughs> I got a roast. <laughs> Just how we like it. Nobody. Just us. <laughs> <laughs> In the rain. We are at Upper Stony Creek in the Byfield National Park. Having a swim with all our mates. Our mates, the mozzies. <laughs> yeah. They're everywhere. The mozzies are bad. Yeah. Real bad. So. But you can't have everything. No. It's a nice water hole. It's beautiful and it's just starting to rain. Swimming in the rain in 30 degrees. Gotta love it. This morning, we're going fishing. Carl has been looking at Google Earth, God help me, and we're going somewhere. To a fishing spot. <laughs> but not at the beach. Not at the beach. And where there's possibly gonna be crocs. That's everywhere up here. Yep. Let's go. <laughs>
Chopping it. I'm gonna strap it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that should do you. Hey. That should do you. that track was very squishy. Yeah it was, especially the trees. They were a little bit tight. Very tight. I hope you can see it in my camera work. <laughs> yeah lucky there was no crocs because that would have freaked me out having to cross with all the camera gear. <laughs> well no crocs that we saw anyway. <laughs> Managed not to fall in. I know. <laughs> Goat lady makes it. This time. <laughs> More squishy tracks. <laughs> that is going to be squishy. Oh, that is hole. squishy. Look at that ground. Oh, dear. What's he thinking? He's going to make a bloody bridge or something, I bet. Scare the crap out of me. I think the hole's the problem, not the uh, branch. Through the hole, then I wouldn't have been your limit. No, that's what I was going to do. Oh. We made it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Imagine when it 
wars, how many um, affluent the creek beds would be. Yeah. Be crazy. The little creeks. comes out that's a good little shortcut well a short long cut I don't a know short, long cut, it's yeah. shorter in distance maybe longer in time yeah and more scratches <laughs> maybe a few more <laughs> oh no and it's raining oh no <laughs> uh, turning here whoops whoa <laughs> Some more scratches. Well, going by the track, those trees have been down a long time. Yeah, they <laughs> Nobody's too, people like us, too lazy to move them. Chop them up, drag them. So we're nearly there. Going by Hemo. Ooh, wow. boat ramp. Ooh. Craft get us. Ooh, camper. That looks Got like a lot of stuff they've happening. They've been here a long time. Choice of wind time. coming. I don't know how this is What's happening here? <laughs> Must just be the angle, it's weird. Yeah. If you do that. Yeah. You stop that. Attach the dive to it. And yeah, we're going to go and just ride it. It'll run around down to that corner. Right. <laughs> wow. It's a little bit wet. <laughs> so much for our fishing trip. <laughs> Water coming in everywhere. Look at the door can't even handle it. <laughs> I'm happy here. <laughs> no, you're not. You're going to stay there and tough it out like a real fisherwoman. That's what fishing's all about. Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, the lure's on the ground, I nearly stood on it. Oh, great. Done. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. What's your problem? Always wind can you. Oh. I had a shower this morning already, okay? <laughs> Perfect. I think my lure is oversized for me right. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it gets jammed. Wow. I thought it came off. <laughs> I was waiting. I was like, what the hell is he? Where is it? What's happened? <laughs> Nothing like a chico roll out of the travel buddy. Because I can't catch any fish. They're not even biting. Gotta measure him. He's a real fish. <laughs> <laughs> he lives to see another day. Oh, there we go. So much for cocks. 
Clean that Good job. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up.